All right, there are some things that just feel like they should be so simple, but if you don't know the terminology or you don't know where to look, they're really not. And one of those things, in my opinion, is sharing your calendar in the Outlook desktop app. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go through that process, and I'm gonna show you in just a couple minutes how to share your calendar, and also if you're sharing your calendar with somebody, what they're gonna receive. So if you need to, you can walk them through it. So let's go ahead and jump in, guys. So much for joining me and if you do have any issues with sharing your calendar or doing anything like that remember we are consultants so you can reach out to us at support at nexttechconsultants.com and we'll get back to you and try to help you out also we are on social media so you can find us on facebook instagram twitter at next tech nt so like i said what we're going to do is we're going to talk about calendar sharing in the desktop app so let's go ahead and hop over to our computer and jump in there all right so once you're on your computer go ahead and open up your outlook desktop app and once that's open in the bottom left you'll see this little calendar symbol here click on that and it will bring up your calendar so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click on the calendar that i want to share if it's your calendar you already have sharing permissions if it's not your calendar this won't work if you don't have sharing permissions. so you have to have that before you can share the calendar to multiple people so we're going to go down to sharing permissions and I'm going to add the person that to my calendar that I want them to see. So we're going to go ahead and click add. And if it's not somebody in this list, you can actually just type the email and it will add them to the list. Like if it's someone outside of your organization, because this is just your organizational list. So go ahead and click OK. And now it pops up with a spot that says permissions and you just choose the permissions you want them to have. Should they only see when you're busy, which basically just is a blue box or whatever color calendar it is. And it just says busy. Should it have titles and locations so they can see where you're at? Should they be able to vault view all details, which then if they open up the calendar, it will give them the details that you have listed in your calendar event. Like if you were to have a zoom meeting, they'd be able to see that link. Can they edit? So that would they be able to change your calendar? Are they able to, change any of your events and make edits to them. Delegate basically gives them full access. So they're able to view, edit, and delete meetings or appointments. Um, just make sure that if you do give delegate access, remember it does give them full access to your calendar. So make sure it's somebody that you can really trust with that. So select the permission you want them to have, and then go ahead and click OK, and it will send them an email. And now we're going to hop over and I'm going to show you what that email looks like and kind of the process on their end, just so if you have to describe it to them, you can. All right, so this is the email that pops up. All they really have to do is click accept and view calendar. They might have to sign in if they haven't already, so just click sign in. So if you weren't already signed in, sometimes it'll make you re-click the link. So like in this case, you can see that I was sent the calendar and I clicked accept. Um, but it didn't take it took me to my email instead so what you can do is you can actually go back to the link click it again and it will just pull up the calendar like it should if you were already signed in just so you know so then you can choose there's the title of the calendar you can choose what color it's going to be and then which calendar category do you want to add it to to my calendars or others and then you just click import and now the calendar is going to show up on your side and you'll be able to see it. All right, I hope that helped you share your calendar in some way. And if it did, remember to give a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to this channel to get more content like this that helps me help support your business. I look forward to seeing you around and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.